Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-June of 2024, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Alright, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I promise when I started this reading, in my mind, I was like, I'm not going to touch on relationships. We've had enough relationship messages on this channel for Scorpio, so we're just going to focus on self. But of course, the universe, my spirit guides are going to troll me and we have the Two of Cups. But this doesn't have to be about relationships. I you know, am fully aware that the Two of Cups is just one card and it can mean a lot of different things. But I do like the idea of this being some sort of a mirror. So maybe right now you are finding that um, as you approach the middle of June, something in your life is mirroring or reflecting an aspect of yourself that is very significant, right? So maybe you're finding meaning in something that you're going through and it's kind of letting you see a side of yourself that you needed to see. It's almost like you're really starting to appreciate and acknowledge um, something in your life because of the results that you're getting, right? The results are reflecting back the effort. Um, and I feel like that's going to be very important for you in the middle of the month, right behind the nine, or sorry, the two of cups is the nine of pentacles and the ace of cups, which honestly, again, even though this is a card of love, this is about you loving yourself. This is about you feeling confident. This is about you saying, I can actually start to see all of my hard work pay off and that makes me feel really aligned right that makes me feel really good and behind the ace of cups is the four of wands so you know the same it's like you're reaching this milestone you're reaching this accomplishment you're starting to finally see um you know the things that you've been doing mean something um in a specific way right so that's that's going to give you a lot of satisfaction we also have the four of pentacles seven of pentacles the devil which is capricorn and the six of wands so I feel like you're going to be successful in getting away from or getting rid of some sort of toxic negative thing in your life. Um, I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, there might even be um, a, you know, it feels like there's going to be a series of difficult decisions that you may have to make, but they're only difficult because of how long you've had to wait to make these decisions. But once it's done, you're going to feel a sense of relief because I feel like what you're doing is successfully walking away or removing some sort of obstacle from your life. So in fact, I would even say that this devil card is a representation of the fact that you have conquered something. Um, you're going to be successful at removing something in your life here. But before we move forward, I do want to clarify that devil just to see what else we get. But I also want to say that with the four of pentacles, you could also be thinking about money or something money related could be important in the middle of the month. So let's start first with that devil card. You know what? I just I just kind of got this um, message of like your mindset being what's really different. So we have the page of swords. I feel like in the recent past, maybe like in the recent week, days or weeks, um, it's, a, it's almost like there was a really sudden shift in the way that you thought about your situation, kind of like something just stopped bothering you. And ever since then, you've just been in a completely different headspace. So right behind the Page of Swords is Judgment, and then it's the Queen of Cups, and then it's the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, this could be work-related, or maybe there was a situation happening at work that was really getting to you, really bothering you. It's almost like from one day to the next, Scorpio, you kind of just had this moment, this realization that worrying about something is not going to change the outcome. So you just kind of snapped yourself out of it, and now you're in this completely different mindset. So... It's almost like whatever, you know, negative thing was getting to you, you've completely kind of pushed it away. Um, so we have the Hanged Man, which is Pisces, the Ace of Wands, and the Three of Cups to further clarify that Devil card. So I feel like with the Three of Cups, you may be finding comfort among others that have either gone through something similar or are going through something with you. You know, I kind of imagine that you might be connecting to other people at this time that have a shared... Um, story. It's almost like you could be finding strength and hope 
um, in a group, almost like maybe, you know, friends or coworkers. It's like somebody that has gone through something with you is right there by your side saying, yeah, Scorpio, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's, it bothers me too. And in that, you've kind of created this network or this camaraderie or some sort of connection that really helps you see this differently. So with that hanged man, I feel like this is you saying, I'm okay where I'm at right now. I'm at peace. Um, I'm not going to do anything because I don't have to do anything, right? It's almost like you maybe thought that you had to take some sort of action um, in order to stop this from bothering you. But really, it's it's all happening inside. You you don't have to do anything on the exterior Um it's a mental game here for you, Scorpio, and I feel like you're winning. I feel like you've kind of been able to master this situation in a way where you told yourself, I'm not going to let it get to me, so it's not, right? It's just not going to bother me because I'm not going to give it that much power. I feel like that's what you've done is you've removed the power from something else, and maybe this Three of Cups is saying that it's happening in a group or it's happening, you know, alongside another person. Let's clarify the... Four of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Yeah, so um, I feel like this is confirmation that something related to um, a decision that you are going to make is going to really kind of help you realize something. Or I don't know, it's like once that decision is done, something is just going to become a lot easier for you. We have the Knight of Wands the High Priestess, which is Pisces, and the Two of Pentacles. So there's that decision. I kind of feel, though, that with the Two of Pentacles, it, it's also about, it's, okay, if I could just speak, it's also about you allowing something to balance, balance itself out. Um, similarly to how you stopped giving something power, Scorpio, I feel like you also um, stopped caring about something so that it could, so that it wouldn't affect your perspective about what you are doing. Almost like someone else's worry was starting to become your worry, right? Someone else's stress, someone else's negative energy, you were, you were starting to absorb it, right? Because you are water and maybe you're, you'd consider yourself an empath, right? So naturally you're going to, you know, absorb other people's energy easily. I feel like you've stopped doing that. You've stopped absorbing um, someone else's energy and so now you're able to move forward in, in a different light and I feel like with the high priestess this is about you also really listening to your intuition about a situation that's going to happen mid-June you know it's like you're going to have this gut feeling and you're going to go with that gut feeling you're going to make the choice or the decision based on that gut feeling alone and I feel like that's how you will effectively kind of get past something that will appear as some sort of an obstacle or a barrier so with that Knight of Wands, it's like the universe is saying, trust in yourself, Scorpio. You know how to handle it. You know what you're doing. You know how to overcome this. Trust that you know exactly what you're feeling, um, that you can trust those feelings, and that's going to carry you home, okay? Something is going to really just sit with you, and it's going to make sense, and it's going to click, and then from there, you're going to be able to, you know, make some sort of determination. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. page of wands yeah i feel like for you there's something that you have to find out there's something you just have to find out in order for you to feel more comfortable more secure or more confident with some sort of plan that you have for the future we have the three of wands nine of cups came through and the knight of swords so that same action that you're going to take once you have that gut feeling i feel like it's going to be mirrored by another action or some sort of a mindset shift um, that has to do with your future, your, your plan, something that you have in your mind that you're like, I think I want to do this, but I just need a little bit more, more time or information, more guidance. Um, right behind the page of wands at the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles. So maybe this is related to, again, work, money, uh, maybe your home life. There's something about your home life that could be changing. Maybe you're thinking of relocating, moving. I feel like with the nine of cups, it's like, the universe is saying you shouldn't only be confident or believe in yourself when it comes to a certain thing. You should have that same level of confidence, that same comfort in everything that you do. So for some of you, that's the balance is you're finding that feeling in everything. Because maybe for some of you, you know, you feel more comfortable when it comes to work things, right? It's like you have your job, your career, you got that down packed. You have no hesitation, no concerns, no doubts. But maybe when it comes to money, 
or you know your home life or your relationships you're kind of like oh I, I don't know if i can trust myself as much i'm not as confident in this arena i feel like mid-june could be where you're starting to realize scorpio that you you can have that same level of confidence within yourself in every aspect in every area it's something you develop it's something that you learn over time but just like how you did it for that one thing you can do it for the other so a lot of really powerful mindsets happening mid-june for you but very very good stuff really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one